Wednesday evening um, and just got home from Joanne's. I had to go get a couple of Christmas gift crafty decorating related things. Um, so I think after I make and cook and eat dinner, I'll try to get a couple of clips of me putting those things up. I got candles for my little advent wreath thing um, and also uh, command strips to kind of hang a uh, ribbon for Christmas cards. And then I got some crafty things for my um, friend's Christmas gifts that I'm not going to show off. But I think I'll work on putting those together. <sighs> I really should do it tonight or tomorrow night. But we'll figure it out at a later date. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go make dinner and I will talk to you in a bit. I thought I would show off what I got at um, Joanne's today for decorating. So this is our mantle this year. And... A couple of years ago, I made this advent wreath um, out of polymer clay because I wanted to do it. And so I had run out of candles, so I got candles. And now our mantelpiece looks nice and balanced. Uh, so there's our tree. We've got our little um, <laughs> on my sewing machine, little cute Christmassy stuff. Um, this um, is called Manger. Thing Crush was actually, I think, my grandmother's, so it's a little mismatched, but I love having it in the house. And the other thing, oh, we got a little staircase. The other thing I got today was command strips. It looks a little bit of a mess right now, um, so we're hanging up this year all our Christmas cards with this ribbon and these cute little clothespins I found last year. So we might add to that as we get start to get more Christmas cards, but it's an easier way than like sticking them all in the mantel place and making a mess. So yeah, those are the Christmas decorations. Nice and fully finished. And now I'm just sitting and enjoying my cup of orange spiced tea, my biscotti di frutta, and my knitting in my book. I discovered around this time last year I can knit and read at the same time, so that's nice. It's a little hard with um, physical books, but we're making it work. Um, and my <laughs> top is coming along slowly but surely, so yeah, I'm gonna do this for the rest of the night and then turn in. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. It's so cold last night. It's so pretty. Yay, December. So I'm just walking to the bus stop now and I'm really happy. I, one of the reasons I bought this place was because it's so close to the bus stop. Um, no lie. And so yeah, that hole right there is my bus stop and that's my front door. So. Yeah, pretty, pretty easy commute to the bus stop. And then it drops me off right across the street there. So I'm yeah, heading to the bus to start my day and I'm going in the office today. See you later. So on um, Thursdays I have voice lessons. Um, so I'm gonna head over there in a little bit, but that's not for about another 30 minutes, so I'm gonna just sit, enjoy my uh, barbecue, pineapple, onion, poblano, flatbread, um, listen to some Christmas music, and start my book. Um, I finished The Perishing last night, and so now I'm starting Labyrinth of the Spirits, which is technically the fourth book in a series of which I've only read number one, but apparently you can read them out of order. So yeah, um, we're gonna give that a try and just sit and enjoy my evening. I'll try to get some clips um, on the way to voice lessons, but I feel weird like recording during the lesson, so you probably won't see that. Yo, go, 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 yo. Yo, go, 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 go. Yo, go, 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 go. Yo, go, 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 go. Yo, go, 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 go.
Thursday evening still and I decided I'm going to make um, a couple of little tiny bags um, for my friends little stocking stuffers and because we're exchanging them Saturday so gotta get that done um, yeah I'm gonna go make some bags watch a football game and call it a night Good morning! Excuse the crazy hair, I tried these hair curler things for the la uh, first time last night because when I got my hair dyed, um, she uh, curled it and I really like how it looked but I don't know how to work a curling iron so I, I tried these things and uh, need to need to hone my technique a little bit because uh, this is a look! So anyway, today is Friday. Um, and I'm working again, but I'm home, so I'm just gonna take some little lunch breaks and stuff. And um, so the rest of my bags, I only did two of the five I needed last night because I just got really tired. Um, so yeah, that's it. And then it's Friday, so I'm and I might watch a movie or my sister's doing this thing tonight that I might uh, live stream. So we'll see what happens there. I'll talk to you guys later. So I finished all five of the gift bags and they're all wrapped, they're ready for tomorrow. Um, this is the, I think it's Easy Drawstring Bag by Pearl Soho. It's a really super simple bag pattern. Um, it's one cut, but it's got these nice little gussets so that there's a little bit of body to um, the pattern. It comes in like many different sizes. And it's supposed to have two drawstrings, but I was worried I didn't buy enough ribbon, so I just did one and it'll be fine for this purpose. Um, but you know, this would be, the second size would be a nice like one sock project bag. Um, but yeah, I definitely would make them again. They took me about 15 minutes to make one bag. So like a super easy, quick, satisfying project. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited. I'm not gonna show you what's in them because we're exchanging gifts tomorrow, but I'm not sure if my friends are going to wait um, till Christmas to open them, so we'll see. And then just one last little thing. I was pulling major bob and chicken by the end. Um, kind of see. Let's see. Yeah. So, that was probably enough, but I was getting, I was getting pretty worried at the end there that that wasn't going to be enough <laughs> to do the last bag. But I got it done, and yeah, they look great. So, that's that. I'm just finishing up for the day and gonna do some knitting and make some dinner. First things first, hair update. Throughout the course of the day, it settled into something a little bit more manageable. Still a little crazy, but uh, yeah, I like it that it's curly. Anyway, let me actually so show you. Tomorrow's our normal knitting club, but we decided we might want to make it a more crafty adventure. And I think I'm going to try to start the Spin Effects PJs by Moon and Broad. Um, I got the pattern for this a while ago, and I'm cut out most of the pants. I still have a couple, I think like just the pocket has to be cut out. Um, and I'm gonna make it in this really cool fabric I found. Um, it's like newspaper with purple. I don't know, I just thought it was really neat. Um, and it has this cool little yellow accent, so I'm using yellow piping and I've got yellow buttons. I don't need those for the pants though. 
um, and yellow thread. So I think it'll look really cool and like have this cool like little yellow accent pop. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to decide. I'll just cut the pocket and then we'll see. The thing is this, I like to sew. The act of sewing is fun for me. It's enjoyable. I like making a thing. I do not enjoy the prep work for sewing in any way. So I cut like two pattern pieces and then I'm like, okay, that, that's good. I still have to cut it from the fabric now. So yeah, um, we'll see what happens. I think I'll just, just gonna cut the pattern pieces. We'll go from there. I'll check in tomorrow to see how it went. Cause I feel like I have many minutes of footage from today already. And it's like a random Friday, so toodles. Friends are so extra and I love it so much. So we exchanged Christmas gifts today. We all made reusable bags. There's only three of us, but I got two of these nice, cool knitted envelopes. Um, let's see. So we got from Kristen this awesome gingerbread cookie in the shape of a sweater and this amazing ornament she paper pierced. Like, oh my gosh, how much work. So awesome. Love the little yarn balls and the butterflies. So pretty. Um, my friend Leah just got me a jar of <laughs> scraps for my blanket. <laughs> so did my friend Jen. But she and her husband also got me tea. And, um, oh, they're in here. This little, like, very similar to the ornament I got them, which is actually really funny. Um, let me open that. I'll be right back. So it's this cool little ornament um, from Contrinkles with the, the you embroider the decoration and it was really funny because I got them all <laughs> that <laughs> uh, which is almost the same thing but not quite um, and like little Christmas color embroidery threads because this you cross stitch so it was like a moment of when I was I said like I didn't make anything you guys it's a thing you make yourself and Jen was like uh, <laughs> oh no but thankfully they are similar albeit different and just yet another indication of how my friends are the same people but now have like awesome little bags for things and because yeah why buy wrapping paper when you can freaking hand sew <laughs> bags and like two of them are the same full so whole pattern it's just it's great i love my knitting friends so much <laughs> I got a good chunk of the pants done at Leah's, um, but I went to put in the gusset, and I did it wrong. Um, on the front, it's supposed to be here, and it's here. So I have to tear out half the gusset, which is fine. Why? <laughs> um, and put it over here. But they're coming along. Look at these pockets. That just took me a while to figure out, but thanks to Leah, I did. So it is time. Uh, we're going to take a break from this. Go um, to my parents' house. We're going to decorate. I'm going to pick up the beer for that. So I'll bring you along for the ride. <laughs> 